Yep. Okay, so one thing, it's not so it's not in the video, in the formula video, but we, we talk about it a whole lot. Um, that in Shicho the periods are deli derived in three. Right? There's three types of periods. We got our shifting periods, which are just moving here off the line, you know, moving moving the, the, the opponent's weapon off the line. We've got our drop lift parries, where we're either blocking it from coming into the side or from overhead, right? And that has to do with lifting the hilt to come over here. Now, of course, there's a couple of different ways to do it. In the, in the uh, accelerations, we go like this, right? But you also go like this. You see, as you bring it back, and so there's this period right here, which then you can come in through that way, okay? And then you've got turning periods, right? Now, each of these periods are specific, right? So if I come in with an overhead strike, right, the, that, you know, a, a drop or lift parry is going to be what the doctor ordered, right? Because that's where that's where it's coming from. Okay. If I'm doing a downward strike though to the lower body, right? It's not gonna work. Step forward again. Step forward again. Yep. And so if I'm coming here like this, oh, no. <laughs> see, I will simply slip right through that. Okay. So <laughs> right, drop it exactly. You want. You might want to do a, 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 turn, a turning parry, okay? So a turning parry is going to oppose the, uh, the, uh, the, the incoming strike and can be turned into a beat, right? So I'm here, and I go here, right, okay? Same thing here. Now, turning parries are more useful in the low and in the high, okay? They're not so useful here, okay? Because if he's... If we're connected, okay. all right. If, if if I'm here like this and I turn this way, I just bring him into me. Okay. So turning periods aren't that great here. What we usually do is we'll start here and then as it, as he comes around, go down like that. Okay. Into a shifting parry. Okay. Okay. Shifting parries are most useful from right here. They're sort of useful down here, okay? They are not very useful up here, okay? Because the downward strike can come down into your hands, All right? Um, so that's really, that's really important. Turning parries, low guard, high guard. That's why we, we, we accentuate, and <laughs> lots of people do this. <laughs> yes, this is technically a turning parry, right? But you want to be more in low guard. Okay. You know. Okay. We don't want to be like up up like this because it takes us a you know um, we have to recover from it. Yes, right. Not necessarily. <clears throat> if he comes in from my lower body, let's say um, you know an overhead strike towards towards this leg here, okay. and I'm like this. It's, it's still hitting me. I can't really generate that much there. Now, if I'm here, Again. yep, I can go like this, and then when he goes around, you see, okay. I have that. I have that whole circle going around for the other leg, correct? Right. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> so turning carries are going to be more useful down here and up here, right? Sure. Lift, drop, lifting, and Lift slash drop carries, which is what we call them, are going to be from the upper half, right? Shifting from the lower half. Turning, you can do pretty much anywhere, but again, they're most useful this half, upper and lower okay. uh, sections, right? And in the middle, uh, being that way. So, like high guard. And so, we, we, uh, we associate those carries with each of those guards. Right? Okay, sir. Right. Um, <clears throat> but other than that, uh, that's it. So that's just a like a little little something on the 
uh, on, on the pairings and the, like what how they're really defined. We put it in the in the, in the concept of the zones so that we can show the zones, right? Um, and all of that. But this is this is really. Good.